Hi, hello, it's me Susanna. This is a very much requested video because you guys keep on asking me how I do my makeup. I mean, the girls are asking how I do my makeup and I will try to show you and it's just a handful of things that you need and something new that I started because, um, hi, I'm not 20 anymore. So I saw this video by Wayne Goss where he's showing how to not get any creasing under your eyes where usually the makeup gets like caught and you smile and you stop smiling and then you have these little cuts so he gave this idea tip that um, you use um, any eye cream under eye cream of your liking and you hydrate like anything under your eyes so I tried that yesterday and I was really really surprised how much difference that made in my makeup so I'm taking this amount of uh, eye cream and I'm just tapping it in here. So now this is like a minute later and I have uh, this liquid camouflage primer but you can use any primer that you will find on the market. India has a lot of nice primers as well. And. Um, so this is actually an eyeshadow primer, but I'm putting it now under my eyes. So again, I'm taking a little bit and putting it here. And this is a very shiny primer. So I will like double tap and triple tap so it goes. And I'm taking a little bit more. So what happens with this is you're putting a base where you're putting the concealer on and it's going to be plump and it's going to be nourished. So the idea is that it's so plump and nourished that no creases can occur. So while that dries, I have this other thing that I like to do. This is a liquid eyebrow gel brush thingy. So I got this in Germany because I couldn't find one here. I don't know maybe it is available here or not available here. So what I'm doing is now I have to look. <laughs> if I look away, that means I have to see what I'm doing. So I'm brushing my eyebrows and this is meant to be um, pushing them into a form. And I'm just brushing them very wildly up, like madly up because they come down on their own. At least mine do. I find eyebrows on Indian women so amazing. You guys have amazing eyebrows. And as you can see, I don't really have any eyebrows in comparison. Oh, before I started this video, is I, of course, I uh, put moisturizer, brightening lotion from uh, Preeti because she sent that to me. That is lovely. But she's based in the UK. And the other thing I love is uh, a primer. I put a primer as well uh, that is cancelling out. It has a little green in it and it's cancelling out the reddish spots that I get in this face. So now for the fun part, this is the NYX HD. NYX HD that I bought on purple. Ah, by the way, not sponsored this video. And then I'm taking a little bit on the back of my hand because this is very liquidy. You're supposed to not take a thick lotion, thick concealer. You're supposed to take a very light one. And then you are... I'm showing everything with my finger because not everybody is having makeup brushes and I don't think you need to have makeup brushes. So you're tapping this into your under eyes so it gives you a very fresh look and also extend it into this little corner here the corner of your eye tends to be having a darker spot like you can see here this is a slightly darker point so when you are putting this concealer here okay I need a little more on the side what it does it automatically opens and brightens up your eyes as you can see this one is looking already more awake than this side and a concealer shade should always be a little bit lighter than your base or your skin not like crazy brighter and if you have really dark circles 
um, I'm gonna link a tutorial by a girl I saw and she has uh, put um, the same method also inspired by Wayne Goss and she has put uh, orange um, concealer types that cancels out the uh, brown and dark circles that you have under your eyes so you can already see I'm looking much more awake powder it lightly so I have a Maybelline powder that I really like the fit me collection is really fitting me but you use what you want and then you powder the whole thing very lightly don't pile it on just a little bit tap it off put it here tap it off and then just tap it slightly here any questions you have regarding this you can by the way comment and ask me I will answer you so the next thing I'm doing is <laughs> uh, this is not a torture instrument this is to open up your eyelashes and for that I have to use my little mirror here because otherwise I don't see what I'm doing what you do is you clamp your eyelashes like this and you wait 10 seconds Clamp the eyelashes. Don't clamp your eyes. <laughs> Only clamp the eyelashes. And then open. Is, um, okay, never pump the brush. No more product will come. What you do is you just put bacteria into it. So what you're doing is you are rolling it at the end and you're scraping off the mascara. So you don't have too much on it. Some people even wipe it off on paper. So what I do here is I make a zigzag motion. And then I feather it out. And I can see already it needs a little bit more here like this is a very black and very strong mascara that I'm using when I go on camera because I have a live chat later on Instagram I'm doing the same thing on the other eye And what I always found that one side, my right side, is having nicer lashes than my right side, ever my left side. I don't know about you guys. This one is always nicer behaving than this side. Okay, somebody thought it's a good idea to uh, do some construction work on a Sunday. Then you are, try to catch all the hairs. It makes a lot of difference if you're catching all your lower lashes as well. And this one on the side it also opens up your eyes. So another thing I do is I go in with a second coat with a different brand. I'm not using the same brand, I'm using some other brand. I've been randomly using stuff right, left and center and it always gives me the same result. It gives me nice um, eyelashes. So this is my natural normal um, I'm going to chat with you guys like you can see this side is a little darker but I smudged on top so I have for blush on I like cream blush um, this is actually I use a lot of lip balms that are colored like a Maybelline um, that is colored and in this case it is biotic so I'm taking a little bit of that on my finger I'm putting it on my cheekbone 
it all depends on your face shape and I'm not um, as I can only recommend Wayne Goss and I will also uh, put that other girl in that I forgot her name I'm so sorry I should have looked that up before I will probably uh, put her name right here when I mention her <laughs> So she has a great tutorial about face shapes and where you should put your blush on. There are amazing makeup tutorials online. I learned from all these people, like, because, hey, <laughs> I'm just an actor and uh, I don't really, um, I don't learn this. I just like, I like makeup. Every girl likes makeup. Where's my doctor? I'll check it. So... And then it's up to you if you want to do your eyebrows, if you don't want to do your eyebrows. So I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera because I can't do it in the camera. This is just not happening. So I've done my eyebrows and um, when I am shooting, usually I do my whole base myself. And uh, I do this blush on trick. And then somebody else is doing my eye makeup. It's putting false, le false, false lashes. False lashes. And then somebody else puts false lashes and uh, because makeup artists are amazing here usually uh, they don't get my base right because they don't have the color but they get the eye makeup very very beautiful and if you remember Queen Helena she had very sharp eyebrows and it depended on which makeup artist was doing the makeup on that day if they were like really really strong or if they were a little bit more soft so and me usually I just like them like this very natural looking and uh, oh lips yeah wait another great lip tutorial by uh, another person <laughs> that I'm gonna link I mean the whole video will just be trying to get you people to go on another channel so um, lips so what I do is what I never didn't did before and I'm doing it now is I'm lining my lips and I have some lip balm on it and I'm just lining my lips and today I feel like uh, putting it on the inside as well because what I see is in live chats when I'm on Instagram even when I'm putting a very strong color, it kind of washes out. So I don't know why that is. Because if I take a picture, the lipstick is there. And when I'm on chat, it looks like I'm not wearing any makeup or and there's nothing on it. Okay, these are all the lipsticks I'm having. <laughs> and the one that I want is not there. Okay. Oh, you guys like this one. This is a lip gloss that when I'm using in pictures, then it's really, really appreciated. So. Ah, what I wanted to say is, so when I am shooting and somebody else is doing my eye makeup and everything else, I also do this blush trick and then they powder my face. I mean, first it's foundation, then it's the blush on, then they powder the face, and then they put another bronzer or powder on top of it. So that will be a full face and a full, like a lot of makeup. And uh, I like it natural, and you guys asked me for natural tutorials, so this is the result. This is gonna be the live chat look. <laughs> Can't forget the coffee, can I? Okay, cheers. So this is the finished look for my live chat on Instagram right now and uh, I will talk there about this video here. Ha! Huh. What you see is that I have now uh, added a little bit more of lipstick because of the... I told you not, it doesn't show on camera. Uh, me naturally I like, uh, like light colors and only lip gloss. And apparently my hair. Okay, go away. <laughs> and I wanted to add if you have... Um, any spots and redness or anything else in your face around your nose or on your chin or whatever of course use concealer there as well but it's not necessary that you do a full face of makeup full face of coverage if you just roam around and you just want to look fresh 
So this is a natural tutorial. I hope you liked it. Please like this video and please subscribe. Bye.